hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you all will be notified when i drop the next episode on these streets Krishi tells ashmita that they will play antakshiri and whoever wins will get cupcakes at the prize Ashmita asks the kids to play and says, leave the elders. Krishna says, please, mama. Chahat says, my mama and papa will play with her. Krishna asks Ashmita to play. Ashmita asks the kids to play. Nevidita smiles with ne when Ashmita agrees. Nandini thinks she will make sure and have that cupcake to make Ashmita believe that they are like a normal couple and that things are fine between them. Both the teams sit down. Krishna says, whoever have many cakes will win. Nandini says, I will start playing. And then she sings. She holds Shan's, and Shan's hand and rests on his shoulder. All clap. She's about to pick cupcake. Krishna stops her and asks her to take small. Saying big one is for the last. She asks Ashmita to take the cheat now. As she, Ashmita picks a cheat, Krishi asks her to sing a song with letter D. Ashmita sings. Krishi asks Shantanu to sing now. Ashmita also sings the female version of the song. Shantanu continues singing. After the song is over, they look at each other then sings down. Krishi says both of them sang, so they will share the big cupcake together. Nandani says it's for the winning team. They can't have it. Nevidita asks why. Krishi makes Shantanu and Ashmita eat the cupcake forcefully. Nandani scolds her. Krishi says, I will make you eat too. And tries to make her eat. Nandani gets up and goes. Nevidita signs Krishi. Abu Mayu takes his sons to make him sleep. Ashmita and Shantanu get intoxicated. Ashmita teases Shan. Shan asks if she wants to fall in his arms. They tease each other. Nevidita asks Ashmita to see and tells her that Krishi went to the terrace. Ashmita goes to the terrace. Shantanu also goes. Nevidita thinks they will be locked on the terrace and thinks Krishi must have locked Nandane by now. Nandane thinks she will get drowsy due to the cupcake effect. Krishi looks, locks the door and says, Daddy's plan is good. Nandini asks someone to open the door and thinks that Shan and Ashmita are together. Shahat asks what happened. Ashmita and Shan comes to the terrace, calling Krishi. Nivedita locks the terrace door. They see the terrace decorated with their pictures. Ashmita says Krishi is not here. Ashmita and Shan get romantic. She runs and he runs behind her. He holds her hands. Shantanu expresses his love for Ashmita and says, I love you. She kisses her forehead and is about to kiss her when she gets Krishna's message that she is going to sleep. Shantanu says, your mischievous daughter messaged. Ashmita says, my daughter is far better than your daughter. She hears the thunderstorm and hugs him. Shan says, you're still the same even after becoming a mother. That poke. Ashmita hugs him again, hearing the thunderstorm. Shan returns the hug. She asks him to stay away from her and asks, how dare you touch me? Shan asks her to stay away from him and says, I don't like to hug you. Ashmita says, you're a selfish guy. Shan says, if I was selfish then, I would have hated you and says, I couldn't convince my heart to hate you even if I try. This heart beats for you still. Ashmita asks, why did you betray me if you love me so much? Shan says, I never betrayed you, and asks if Shan can betray his pooch key. He keeps his hand on her lips and says not to say anything again. She runs away. Shan holds her. They hug each other. Nandini pulls kerosene around them and tells that today is not their union night but their death night. 
She says Ashmita and Shantanu's love story will end with them. She loves seeing them lost in their embrace while the fire catches up fast. She says today Shantanu and Ashmita's chapter will end. Shantanu opens their eyes and sees the fire. Krishi comes out and calls them. Mama, Papa. Ashmita is going out but Shantanu holds and saves her as the pillar falls down. He says, I won't let anything happen to you. Nadine enters her room and rests on the bed, looking at Shantanu, Shantanu's pictures, and says, if you're not mine, then I won't let you become Ashmita's. Never. She says, I will kill you to take you away from Ashmita. Today, you both will be burnt in that fire. Shantanu tells Ashmita that they both have to leave immediately. He falls as the decoration stuff falls on him. Ashmita sees the pillar about to fall on Shantanu and holds it and then pushes it to save Shantanu. Shantanu gets up and tells her that nobody will hear their voice as they are downstairs. Ashmita covers themselves with blankets kept there and they look at each other. Krishi prays for her parents' safety. She asks them not to worry and throws water on the fire to set it off. Ashmita and Shantanu reach her. Krishi faints in Ashmita's hand. Krishi asks Shant to see what happened to her daughter. Shantanu takes her downstairs. Ashmita asks her to open her eyes. She checks Krishi and pumps her chest. They rub her hands and ask her to open her eyes. Ashmita says she is not opening her eyes. We have to do something. Just then, Krishi wakes up and tells Ashmita that he is the best papa for her. Ashmita asks her to listen. Krishi says she wants both and runs away. Shantanu says we shall give her what she wants. Ashmita asks, have you gone mad? She says what will happen to Mr. Chiwahat and, and his son, Nandini and Chahat. Chan asks her to stay with him for tonight. Ashmita says, this is not right. Shantanu says, we don't have anything except love. He holds her closer for a kiss. She tries to resist and falls with him on the sofa. She rests on his shoulder and sleeps. In the morning, Mr. Chiwahat comes downstairs and sees Ashmita and Shantanu sleeping on the sofa. He is shocked to see Ashmita's head on Shantanu's chest. He holds and pushes Shan. He says you must have made her eat something so that you can fulfill your old desires and says I will kill you. Ashmita tries to stop Chiwahat. Shantanu asks Chiwahat to ask Ashmita first if she wants to see him dead and says I didn't do anything. Krishi comes with police and says I will tell you. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's episode on District. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.